for class 3 so students in today's video we are going to start with the new topic that is estimating the sum estimating the sum what does estimating the sum means to check quickly the sum or the answer we round up the numbers and then add them it can give us right rough estimate whether our answer is correct or not now to check the answer quickly we estimate the numbers and then we add them now what is the meaning of estimate estimate means to round up the numbers to nearest 10 and to nearest 100 we have in the previous video we have learned how to round up the numbers to nearest 10 and nearest 100 now i'll give you a short trick about how to round up the numbers okay so this topic is estimating estimate the estimating the sum estimating the sum now see when you have to round up the numbers to nearest 10 i'll give you a simple trick if we are rounding up to nearest 10 
one's place. If it is in first group, just write down zero in its place and the remaining digit as it is. Similarly, if the digit at one's place is in the second group, then write down zero in its place and add one to the tens digit and the remaining.
nearest ten. Now, see students, you see when the sum of twenty three and sixty five by rounding off the numbers to nearest ten. Now, here we have to first round off the numbers to nearest ten. That is twenty three and sixty five. We are going to round off them to nearest ten, and then we are going to find out their sum, or we are going to add the numbers. So, I will write down the columns of tens and 
nearest hundred by rounding off the numbers to nearest hundred. Now let us first write down the actual numbers. Which are the actual numbers? One hundred and thirty-three and two hundred and seventy-four. Now we have to find out the estimated sum. That is by rounding off the numbers to nearest hundred. So if it is nearest hundred, we are going to check which digit. We are going to check the tens digit. Now in the first number, that is one hundred and thirty-three. The digit at tens position is three. It is below five. If it is below five, then write down zero at tens and one space, and the hundreds digit will be as it is. Similarly, in the second number, the tens digit is seven. It is above five. It is above five. So, if it is above five, we are going to write down zero. Zero at one and tens position, and the, we are going to add one to the hundreds position. Two plus one, it is three. Now add the numbers. So we got the round, rounding rounding off of one hundred and thirty-three as hundred, and the rounding off number of two hundred and seventy-four is three hundred. Now we are going to find the sum. Let us find the actual sum. Three plus four, seven. Seven plus three, ten. Carry one. Two plus one, three. Three plus one, four. This is the actual sum. Next, zero plus zero, zero. Zero plus zero, zero. Three plus one, four. This is the estimated sum. So we found out the estimated sum and the actual sum. Now I can say one sentence here that the actual sum or the estimated estimated sum is very close to the actual sum. We can find a find we can see that four hundred and seven and four hundred it's very close to one another. So this is called as the actual sum and this is called as the estimated sum. Estimated sum means the numbers we have rounded off to nearest hundred and we have add them so we got the estimated sum so in this way you can do the estimating the sum by rounding off the numbers to nearest ten and nearest hundred so in the question it will be mentioned that whether you have to round off to nearest ten or whether you have to round off to nearest hundred when one, one more line will be added whether you are going to also find out the actual sum or not now in the exercise number 2.9 see the question estimate the sum by rounding off the numbers to nearest tens also find the actual sum means in this we have to round off the numbers to nearest ten then we have to find out the sum and we have also to find out the actual sum Similar to the second question is also estimate the sum by rounding off the numbers to nearest hundred and also find the actual sum. So same we are going to do here. First, as we have done this, actual sum and estimated sum. So students, just practice it properly and solve the exercise number two point nine in your notebook. You have to.